So you had some questions. Yeah, so we do ask you guys all the time for your questions, and we thought we would actually print some out and Mm. answer them today. Mm -hmm. So let's get it. Let's Let's do a Q&A on the pod. Yeah, time for a little pod Q&A. I like it. So some of these are are very common questions we get. Yeah. Um, Number one, have you discussed having kids together? Mm -hmm. That is a very common question. Mm -hmm. We have had the discussion and we have decided not to have kids together. Yeah. Um, Kevin... Kevin made sure of that for us. Thanks, Kevin. (laughs) Well, on our second date, I told you, hey, Mm -hmm. I I was previously married, and the reason why it didn't work out was because we had a difference in opinions Mm -hmm. of how we wanted to live our lives. She wanted kids. I didn't. Mm -hmm. So I've known for a long time, like since elementary school, I didn't want kids. You could Mm -hmm. ask all my friends. They know this about me. So on our second date, I told you, look, I don't want to lead you on. I like you. You're beautiful. But... If kids is something in your future, mm-hmm. it, you ain't, it ain't me, babe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as Johnny Cash would say. It ain't me, babe. Yeah. So being up front with you and, you know, telling you, hey, this is not mm-hmm. in, in the cards for us if you wanted to be with me. Yeah. Because I don't want kids. You were okay with that. And then when, yeah. like, I, then I had a surgery to Mm -hmm. make sure that that wouldn't happen. I realized the way I worded that of like, (laughs) Kevin made sure of that for us. We're not going to have kids. Like, wait, take that back. I know they agreed. They were not going to have kids together. Kevin had a vasectomy. We decided not to have kids as a group together. Mm -hmm. And we're all very, very comfortable with that decision. I just meant he, he took care of the birth control for us. Yes. So us ladies it's don't my have body, to my worry choice. about it. It's true. That's you know? right. So. And we appreciate you yeah. that and you. your decisions. <laughs> Thank you. And that goes <laughs> along with marriage too. That's mm-hmm. another question we get a lot, which kind of wraps in there. But we yeah. are not going to get married or have like a ceremony or anything. Mm-hmm. Like we just, yeah. we not don't. that there's anything wrong no, with No, if one of you guys really wanted to, I would. I just mm-hmm. don't think any of us have a strong desire to do it. Well, we didn't go into it starting married. Like Kevin and I are not married. And I think some couples, when they initially go into it, are. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of times to kind of create that equality That's amongst true. the relationship, they'll have um, like a ceremonies. Yeah, a ceremony mm-hmm. of sorts. So that way it is equal in, in the. I think that's a beautiful idea too. And yeah, like they change I their do. name to match the. Yeah. Yeah. Like that mm-hmm. all makes sense. But yeah. So for us, not for us. No. none of us are married and just yeah. going through that like we, paperwork. We to be, yeah. yeah. We're, We're in love. We don't need the government involved. Yeah, we good. We We're good. cool. <laughs> What's next, okay. babe? How do we handle finances? Very poorly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's well. A, it, it's a funny question that we get asked, and every time we get asked this question, I'm always kind of taken back because you've never asked. Like a couple? Um, yeah, like a monogamous <laughs> couple. Hey, how do your finances work? <laughs> yeah. Unless you're close friends or family. Yeah. but You I, wouldn't ask like a stranger, hey, you guys are together. How do your finances work? <laughs> but I get it because it's like a lot of times with two people. It's expected. It, it's also combine. the how do you handle finances is kind of the broad, the not the broad, yeah, the broad question of it where a lot of people will ask kind of separately of like, how do you split your bills? Mm-hmm. How do you, like, do you have That's separate accounts? Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot under that where it's not just like. It's all personal questions, though, is what I'm getting at, that you wouldn't <laughs> normally ask a stranger. Well, well I, I get it. I think it's too, like, say, a married couple, a man and a woman. Mm-hmm. You kind of, in your head, already think that they share a bank account. Like that's just yeah. how it works. Mm-hmm. So it's like with but us. But not for everybody. I know married people that have separate accounts. I have not run into that as often. Not as often, for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. So it is more customary. But I still to... wouldn't ask somebody. <laughs> I know, but people are going into this kind of relationship or exploring this, and it's so new that mm-hmm. I think it's more that reason of like, how do we then handle that? Do we all yeah. on a bank account? I think sometimes yeah. it is an advice question of like those that are going into this type of relationship and wondering like how sh- how should we handle it yeah. in a way, which again is all like going to be personal for mm-hmm. us. We like all have separate accounts. Mm-hmm. Um, we split all our bills evenly. Uh, we just Ven- Venmo each other a lot. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we love Venmo. And we just, you know, we still, like, treat each other to dinner or to... Well, and I feel like, like Kevin, like, pays things. for, like, some stuff a little more. Mm-hmm. He treats us a little yeah. more. Thanks, he spoils Kevin. us. Thanks, babe. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I say thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. You are welcome. <laughs> I guess this, the question does make more sense now that I'm talking about it out loud. <laughs> when it comes to, like, there's a stay-at-home husband or stay-at-home wife, right, your financial situation is going to be different. Mm-hmm. And then if a third person comes in, you're like, so am, am I expected to pay for everybody? Yeah, now? like, is everybody? Like, so yeah. being broke doesn't sound fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and, like, we all, I think also financially like even with couples sometimes i find it very interesting like i think it's an interesting question because i've seen where but you love the drama it's, you, no no no, it's not the drama you love it's, bridgerton uh, you wash your mouth you <laughs> <laughs> I will, you know you love bridgerton too guilty anyway um sometimes with couples like one person in the relationship will make like half a million dollars right and the other person will make like Minimum wage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's like, okay, I am curious. Like, how, how do you handle your finances? Because I don't see you splitting things like 50-50. Well, so, and I think, yeah, with us, say mm-hmm. if I lost my job mm-hmm. and was like, you guys, I don't have any money. <laughs> like, I think you guys would step up and 100%, help me. yeah. We would mm-hmm. all do that for one another. For each other. We kind of just watch out for each other. If we know someone's maybe a little, like, less doing not as great that week, like be like, Hey, I'll pick up dinner mm-hmm. or Let something happened. Yeah. They're like, mm-hmm. Oh shit. You have this huge thing. Like here, I'll chip in. Mm-hmm. Like that's more how we handle it. It's situational. But for mm-hmm. the most part, we try to just split things mm-hmm. and then we help when we need to, or when we can. Yes. And like, we don't hold like checks and balances of like, I've paid for this. You've paid for this. You've paid for this. Right. Mm-hmm. Nobody's keeping score of like, Hey, yeah. I've paid for the electric bill. For two years. Yeah. And, uh, and what you the use your blow dryer a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, there's two of you that use a lot of electronics. <laughs> all right. It doesn't seem fair to me. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we do it. But you guys yeah. do it however you want to do it. Yeah. Different mm-hmm. courses for different horses. What's that's next, fair. baby? Are there throuples with two men and one woman? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It is less frequent that we see them. Mm-hmm. Yes, but I will say we get a lot of messages online of this relationship type with two males, one female mm-hmm. that are not open. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I think a lot of the times the male is married to a female mm-hmm. and they don't want other people to know that they're bi. Correct. Yeah. Because I don't, it's just not as accepted at this point. I don't think men being bi. I do think men get a harsher treatment when they Mm -hmm. come out of being bi than women do. Yeah. I think for a majority of the time, when someone hears that a woman is bi, it's like, that's that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a guy, it's it's immediately like you're gay. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Which is unfortunate. And then, what else? I, I think men get persecuted more being gay than women being lesbian Absolutely. too. Absolutely, you know. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's a shame, mm-hmm. but I do think for a lot of the situations, or at least what we get in our inbox, are relationships where they don't want to be out, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which sucks. And hopefully, but it doesn't change. mean they don't exist. Yeah, it does. And they do exist. We've had plenty of emails of this relationship mm-hmm. that have also asked us, please don't reveal yeah yeah we've also come across a lot where it's two men one woman one woman one One woman woman. and the men aren't (laughs) romantically involved with each other but they're both romantically involved with the woman and they're just like friends Mm -hmm. yeah but they still keep it just to that yeah they're still closed like they don't they're still closed yeah the men just Mm -hmm. aren't sexually involved yeah, which that's another way to do it, which is cool. There's yeah, which tons I think of could different be like, types of mm-hmm. situations. Yeah. yeah, there can be three women, there can be three men. Yeah, like there there's all fifteen men. <laughs> okay, that, that, that would trouble, no longer yeah. be a no, trouble. It would be something. Crazy. I don't know the name. Sounds of like that. a party. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's next? What do we do for work? <laughs> oh, that sounds boring after the yeah. fifteen men Ooh. thing. Ooh. <laughs> Let's talk about the fifteen men. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I right now am an operations manager for a healthcare company. I work remotely from home. Yeah. 
I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like we're all like proper. Like we got to talk about work now. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I, I am primarily now a marketing and social media assistant, but I am also an administrative assistant. I wear a lot of hats at my job mm-hmm. um, for a restaurant corporation. Mm-hmm. Kevin? Very nice. Yeah. And then I work at a software company. It's a startup. Yeah. I also wear lots of hats. He does. You do. And uh, I forget my title. Head, Head of program management and yeah. product management. It's mm-hmm. like there's a two for one. But I yeah. only go, I only tell people head of program management. Yeah. Most so of the our, time. our real life jobs are not as fun as our social media jobs. No. Yeah. We do all work those jobs full time. Full time but mm-hmm. then social media is kind of like our second full time job. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But it's our, our, it's fun, our fun, like creative. It's our fun job. Yeah. Less stress. For yes. Sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. I do like my job if anyone from my work yeah, is watching. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like my job too. Yeah. It's just not. I enjoy Jobs it. don't have to be fun. They can be serious. Yeah. Yeah. What's the next question? <laughs> How do you choose activities together? I didn't write this question down. How do well, we I choose saw it. activities? Someone asked it. So I think how I interpret it is like, Hey, I want to go to the movies today. Mm. Like, and then we have a vote. (laughs) It's just comes natural, right? It's just like, Hey, I was thinking we could do this. Like yesterday we went fishing Mm -hmm. and the day before that, Kevin was like, Hey, I'm kind of thinking tomorrow. Like we like drive up to the mountains, do a little fish on for a couple hours. Like, Mm -hmm. what do you think? And everybody's like, yeah. Yeah. But if one of us would have said, I don't really want to, but you guys go for it, then that's fine too. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. never a, I don't want to, so we're not going to so do no that. So no one's doing it. Yeah. It's like if two people still want to do that, it's like, okay, like if I didn't want to do that, I would go find something else to do. Or do nothing at all. Well, yeah. we've had it too where one person <laughs> suggests an activity to do, the other two are both like, eh, not mm-hmm. really feeling it. So that person goes off and does that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like I've went fishing on my own plenty of times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like we've gone to see a movie or you yeah. guys have gone fishing and I'm like, I have too much, like I want to actually. You have too yeah. much laundry. There have been times where I'm like, <laughs> if I go, I'm going to be stressed. I need to stay home Yeah, and so be we responsible. Just, just wing it. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we'll plan. Mm-hmm. Sometimes mm-hmm. we won't. Yeah. A lot of times Megan and I will plan. Yes. And Kevin won't. <laughs> <laughs> but Kevin comes along. That's yeah. right. I think it helps too that we do actually enjoy doing a lot of things together. Absolutely, like we've we've talked about it ad nauseum. Yeah. I feel like how much we love fishing, and hiking, and camping all together. Oh my, oh my, yeah. So that's how we choose. It's really just like you want to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, this one's good. How do you go about attending family events such as weddings, family reunions, etc.? At such a So we haven't faced it a ton yet. Like, yeah. I don't think we've been invited to a wedding, right? Yeah, we have. Don't. It... Oh. So we, but that we <laughs> were all invited. Yes. All three all of us. Invited. So we didn't have to have any worry because we've gotten asked of like, what if there was an invitation For and two. it was, yeah, mm-hmm. Alana plus one or Kevin plus one, Megan plus one. It's like, what do we do? So it would be an interesting you know? situation because all our friends and family and coworkers no. know our relationship. Yeah, so it'd be kind of a dick move. You yeah, guys. so <laughs> if if somebody was like, "Nah, it's only two of you that could come for whatever reason." Well, you're also asking for them to pay for another person. This is true for sure. Which, but I personally, if I was one of my friends or family members, was like, "It's only two of you," depending on the situation, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would just not go. Yeah, I probably like would there, okay. there was a situation in my family where there was a funeral. Mm-hmm. And there's a few people in my family that don't want this. Yeah. <laughs> so it was plus it was like in Vegas, it was just cheaper for me to just go. Yeah. I yeah. didn't want a drama. It's a lot different than a, it like is. a happy thing. We're not gonna yeah. be like, you can't go because we're not invited. And you also wouldn't do that because that's just like that at that point is it seems not respectful to like the life that was lost, you know? Well, but if the life that's lost doesn't mind. But I'm just saying there's no reason to make drama at a funeral. But funerals are not for you, the person that died. I know it seems like it is, but it's for the people that are still living. Very good. Right. But no, I'm saying like (laughs) I understand more saying no to like a wedding 
and being mm-hmm. like, you know my situation. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to leave one of my partners at home. Yes. If, like, yeah. if someone, because you brought up the point of it being like, if it's someone, someone's wedding and they have to pay then for two extras. Meals. Mm-hmm. If they had talked to one of you, say like, one of your I'm friends was you like, a, hey, a gift. hey, like, you know, the, like the plates are really expensive. We can't really afford to have an additional plus one, like in, and tried to work with you of how do you want us to handle it? Because we want you there for the event, but it's just not in our budget. I think I'd be like, well, you know what? Maybe my other partner can just come to the reception afterwards and like all just come or like my partners will come to the reception after and like all come and do the dinner, something yeah. like that. Like you could work around it in some yeah. kind of way or I- be like. He'll chip in a hundred bucks. Like, I don't care. Or you could be like, I hope your fucking wedding and <laughs> marriage goes to shit because you're a piece of shit. That's right. And, and you're not my friend anymore. You're not my friend anymore. Yeah, so yeah. I don't want to be at your wedding. Friendship over. You could be. Yeah. 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 You hate someone. Good luck wild. with your <laughs> shit marriage. <laughs> that's how we suggest you handle it. Just like that. No, I, that's how I would handle it. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's situational. Like, it uh-huh. really depends on what it is. Like, if... Like, I think I did get invited to a wedding, actually, for my cousin, and it was a plus one. Mm. But, like, I don't really communicate with them. Mm -hmm. They are my family, care about them, but, like, Mm -hmm. I never talk to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, they gave me a plus one, I think, just... Without knowing your situation. Yeah, I don't think they know in depth my situation. Mm -hmm. If I was, like, I really want to go to this wedding, I probably would have just... Or if I could have afforded to go to the wedding, Mm -hmm. um, I probably would have reached back out and been like, hey... Would this be okay or blah blah blah? And then because that wedding was it. in Hawaii, yeah. So that yeah. was like so that also was, was. You can't afford it. It took me a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. yeah. Well, and also, like on my personal end of things, like if it was my grandmother's birthday party, because my grandmother <laughs> is the only person in my family that does not know. Yeah, because she's almost ninety, super Catholic, and I've you know, my family and I have had a discussion where it's like. I don't want to be the one to give grandma the heart attack that makes her pass over to the other side. So I've respected that. Mm -hmm. So if it was like her birthday party, I would want to go for that. And so I probably would go on my own Mm -hmm. and, you know, I wouldn't bring Kevin because like grandma knows about Kevin and just be like, okay, sorry, Megs. Like you got to sit this one out. Unless I like had something else to do. Yeah. Like if I was like, you know what? Take Kevin. I actually want to go do something else or yeah. something like that. But on my You're end like of going things. going to a 90-something-year-old <laughs> birthday party? I'm good. He's, Have a blast. He's like, what are you yeah. doing? I'd rather go do that. Eat some rice pudding for me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks anyways, Lana. Ah, yeah. uh, no. Uh, but say if I got invited to something and they mm-hmm. didn't include both of my partners because they didn't agree with my lifestyle, mm-hmm. then I absolutely wouldn't go. Yeah, same. No matter the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be my, yeah. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to move on to the next one? Did we answer that one enough? I think so. Do you feel like that was enough? (laughs) Is that enough for you? (laughs) Stop it. (laughs) Are you not understanding? (laughs) (laughs) I'm so glad you did that because I was so close to saying it. it. I love Gladiator. It's so good. Okay, last question. How do you handle any differences in spiritual, political, and cultural beliefs, or all you all, or are you all pretty aligned on everything? Excuse me? You know what I said. <laughs> pretty aligned on everything, I believe is what it said. If you didn't hear exactly it, she's like, I don't know. Or are you pretty aligned on everything? There you go. Thank so, you. So, what do you guys think? None of us are religious. Right. per se right but we are spiritual, spiritual. in our own ways mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think all of our spiritual beliefs are similar mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but they they vary slightly here and there yeah where we will yeah. have like discussions of things we might not exactly agree on but mm-hmm. never to a point where it's like oh your belief is like really throwing me off bro yeah well and even in my like personal spiritual belief, because I grew up in the Catholic church. Mm -hmm. So I was taught that for so long. My dad's atheist. So I also had, he didn't, it's not real. (laughs) (laughs) He never pushed his beliefs on me, but he shared like his thoughts of the world and what comes after. 
And so I was able to form my own ideas of Mm -hmm. things, but I'm also still changing that constantly. The more I experience or the more I learn, I have no idea. Like, you know, I, I don't know what comes after this life or what's really out there. Yeah. But I know that there is something like, I, I know in my belief, I feel it. Feel it in my bones. Feel it in my bones <laughs> that there's something out there and it's powerful. Y'all better watch out now. <laughs> We're all aligned on that one. Yeah. Big damn. <laughs> Big damn. Yeah. But political beliefs and I think cultural beliefs we're aligned on like right? political personally i'm just not a very political human being Agreed. like we're just not like we'll discuss it amongst the three of us mm-hmm. but we don't go out and share our political beliefs with like with like everyone on the internet mm-hmm. yeah yeah we like it that or way friends mm-hmm. or family yeah like we don't and we, we just it. respect other people's as long as they're not pushing it on us like, yeah if you're not pushing it or trying to support fight. as long as like you're being cool about it. Yeah, just don't be a jerk. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Respect everyone else's lives. Like mm-hmm. as long as they're not hurting your other people. A lot, a lot. <laughs> Hold on. That's the thing. As long as you're not hurting Hold or on. trying to control other people. Yes. And you, you can have your beliefs, but don't push that on someone else or don't say that their life is, they're living their life wrong. Yeah. Because you have your you beliefs. Don't agree with it. They are living their life, and if they're being respectful of you, you need to be respectful of them. Everybody's on their own path, trying to figure it out in their own way. Bingo. That's none of your goddamn business. <laughs> what, what was the last one? Was it cultural beliefs? Cultural beliefs. Uh-huh. What, can you give me an example of that? What does that mean? What, what is a cultural belief? No, no, I can't. No, I also cannot. <laughs> mm. I, again, did not write like why I we stretch my it. earlobes. I don't, I don't. I don't think so. I don't stretch I don't my think that Yeah, be... you said that as if you did. Yeah. But isn't that like a cultural thing? Is like that is something people do? I've never heard of this. How do you handle any differences in spiritual, political, and cultural beliefs? I don't I j- know the cultural one. Yeah. But I'm uh, sure we respect each other. So yeah. We have <laughs> yeah, there's none that are like sticking out. Yeah, nothing's popping a, out to me. Of a cultural belief that we're like not. Does Thanksgiving have anything to do with it? How, how ignorant do I sound right now? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty goddamn. Ignorant. Isn't they? Hey, I don't want to make myself sound ignorant, but Thanksgiving would be kind of a cultural holiday, right? Because it's not celebrated out of outside of our country. This is true. Yes. I think so. I think, but it's not a belief. Is, it's is just a true? cultural. It's just delicious. Doesn't Canada Let's have their own Thanksgiving? But it's not the same day. Yeah, but I'm talking okay. about America's Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Please, this is someone in the comments, tell us your cultural beliefs because we sound like idiots right now. Yeah. Word. Yeah. So we're this sorry. This is a fun podcast. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. <laughs> I'm glad we that get we ended on yeah. that question. I'm feeling dim. <laughs> but Thanksgiving is good. It is yeah. coming. I mean, that's my favorite holiday. It it is. Is. So we're in I, November. Every, everything about it, right? Like yeah. being thankful. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm. Yeah. Turkey, mashed potatoes. Rolls, stuffing. gravy, yams, stuffing, cranberry, cranberry sauce. Mm. Oh, you know what? Fact, I'm so I'm so excited. For Thanksgiving is coming up. <laughs> it's gonna be here real soon. Yes, Heck yeah. I'm excited to cook. We're I in love the month. For it. We're in the thankful so month. Hungry. Mm. What are you guys thankful for? Should we save this for Thanksgiving? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Give me time, Alana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm thankful her, that we all she should. need some time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Thank you guys for your questions. If you have any other ones, please keep dropping them. It is nice mm-hmm. to get those and yeah, answer we can them. <laughs> we can do some more we'll Q and A's along the way. Them. Yeah, we'll try. Sorry, we're, we're gonna we're... fail at some. We're yeah. only human. We're They're also like, that's just... a softball pitch, guys. You don't know what cultural differences mean. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> no, we're new. Sorry. <laughs> also, don't maybe this, we don't take things super seriously. We so. don't. We're pretty silly. If you, have I, think, we're just silly. I think that's we're a not... gift, though. You know? Yeah. What did uh, Alan Watts said something is uh, humans biggest mistake was taking life too seriously. What the gods intended for fun. There you, mm. go. you know what I mean? Powerful. I, mm-hmm. I think that's a cool, I, I'm paraphrasing. I don't think that's exactly what he said. Yeah, so we're not going to put quotes around that, but yeah. I like it. And I think that's a great way. That's a good way to, to wrap it. things up. That's a good way to turn these lights out. All lights right. out. Thanks guys. Lights out. Bye. Bye. Bye.